kid playing for his our leader, he's the uh, best scorer in the league and our team. And not only that, he's also leader in the on the court, off court. Really, he's a he's a scorer. Like it's it's difficult to stop him, and um, a lot of teams focus on him. He's uh, the leader. Uh, he's a great scorer. So he he take a lot of attention of the defense. Averaging an astonishing 22.3 points per game, Unix Kazan's Keith Langford is once again lighting up the EuroLeague. Recording double digits in every game this season, the 33-year-old American is in the form of his life. When I first learned to play the game, uh, you know, it, it was something that came natural. Uh, one, of, one of my first basketball coaches told me that anyone can learn to play basketball, but you know, you're born to score. At this point in my career, I, I know what I am and, and, I, and I do it to the best of my ability. I know people that come and know that Keith Langford is playing. Man, this guy may have a big scoring outburst. So, you know, I, I take pride in trying to give, you know, fans and people watching, you know, what they want to see. Having started his EuroLeague career with BC Kimke in 2009, Langford has played for some of Europe's biggest clubs, including EA7 Emporio Armani Milan in 2014 earning him a place in that season's all EuroLeague first team. Five years on, the Unix man has gone full circle, back to where it all began in Russia. I decided that I was going to make uh, my next basketball decision strictly about basketball, because I presented that opportunity to me. I really wanted to challenge myself at that point and see if, if I was good enough to, to really lead a team to places that they hadn't been before. We are all part of Kazan trying to progress in and become a, a, a European mainstay. And it's not just the basketball in Russia Keith Langford has needed to adapt to. In the winter, the temperature can drop to minus 30 degrees. The climate is, uh, I, it's, it's, it's funny to me because I, I like to see the, the expressions on the other team's face when they're, when they're walking in the gym for the first time or like, you know, people who haven't been here before. So, you know, my third year now, you know, I. I'm, I'm pretty much at the point where I can walk outside in a, in a thin jacket, so I think that I, I've adjusted to the cold. One of the things that sets Langford apart and gives him an advantage over other players in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague is his left-handed shooting style. Even I have a tough time sometimes guarding left-handed uh, players. I think a lot of people aren't used to it, but it's one of those things where it's like, it's a split second, it's a hesitation, it's, it's all a timing issue, and it's something that you actually have to feel and be in front of me to understand, you know, how difficult it is to stop me from getting left. They have the league's leading scorer, and that is a remarkable finish. This season, Langford is once again leading the scoring charts. Winning the Alfonso Ford Trophy three years ago as the season's top scorer was one of the highlights of his career. The award is named after one of Europe's most celebrated scorers, who tragically lost his life to leukemia at the age of 32. Uh, it's something that, uh, you know, after understanding the story and, and knowing Alfonso's family, um, knowing the story, uh, you know, everything he went through and, and what that trophy means. And uh, it's a goal I set out every year I played in the year league. The, the, the best moment of that was, you know, Alfonso Ford's family, uh, you know, namely his son, you know, reaching out and and uh, being happy for me. And, and, and that, was, that was a huge moment. That meant more than, than any basket I scored all season.